A team at Plant and Food Research is developing a three-part approach to combating the apple pest codling moth. The moth has long been a problem for the apple industry, requiring the use of chemical pesticides for control. But more recently, the apple industry has made huge advances in reducing pesticide use. It comes at a time when the sector is on target to become a billion dollar industry. Dr Jim Walker of Plant and Food Research explains. Today, our marketing is increasingly targeting the high value markets in Asia, and that means the need to control coddling moth in those markets where they have a zero tolerance is at a whole new level of control that's necessary. Going back into the 1980s and 90s, 10 insecticide applications would have gone on during the course of the season. Many of those are toxic, broad spectrum pesticides at the time. During the uh, 1990s, we changed the whole approach to pest management. Our first big advance with pheromone technology was really identification of the coddling moth sex pheromone. That enabled us to come up with a trapping and monitoring system. So if there's any flying around this area, they'll get stuck on that sticky base. The next progression along that same technology was really to take the female sex pheromone and put it into a twist tie dispenser. It's really only been since about 2007 in the apple industry that we've really seen widespread uptake of mating disruption as a technology for apple growers. So the technology has been around for a little while. We developed it, first of all, for the organic apple industry, but now the mainstream apple industry, fully 35% of the mainstream apple industry is now using this technology for cotton moth control. The work that we've been involved with in central Hawke's Bay is really looking at a whole different concept. And this concept is called sterile insect technique. And for us, this is a way of saying, what next uh, for coddling moth in terms of, we've got good population suppression systems. What we're looking at now is the ultimate system, really to potentially locally eliminate these populations, or beyond that, going beyond that, and, and eradicate Mod coddling moth over quite large areas. SIT, the sterile insect technique, is really over flooding the wild population of fertile moths with these sterile moths. So we start with an over flooding ratio of uh, about 40, 50, 60, 70 sterile moths to one wild moth. And then progressively, as the population uh, takes into account that sterility that's uh, being incorporated into the population, it collapses. SIT is a fairly established sort of technology and it's used in the citrus industry in South Africa. 23,000 hectares of citrus uh, are treated each year uh, with SIT to control their, the false coddling moth, which is a really important pest of South African citrus. In Canada, they have set up a large production facility to rear coddling moth specifically for the purpose of the sterile insect technique. So what we are really relying on is their winter production coming to New Zealand where they can spend their summer and uh, reduce our wild populations of coddling moth. They clear customs in Auckland and border biosecurity. They're coming in with an MPI certification and uh, from there, it's just a domestic flight to, to Napier. And within 40 hours of them actually leaving winter in Canada, they are being released in summer uh, in central Hawke's Bay. When these moths are reared, they're fed on a, an artificial diet that's got food colouring in it. So the sterile moths are red. And importantly, our wild moths that would uh, appear in the pheromone traps are white. So we can tell the red moths apart from the white moths and uh, that way we can get a count and have been able to document uh, the reduction in coddling moth over the last three years. What we've actually now got is a drone aircraft 
that's capable of taking 22,000 moths and in a single 10 minute flight can distribute 22,000 moths over a 100 hectare orchard. It's very, very efficient, a very effective way of getting those moths spread uniformly across the orchard. We have had a dramatic reduction over the space of three years in the moth catch, to the extent that a 98% reduction on uh, one of the large orchards, one of the 100 hectare orchards. Uh, what does that actually mean in terms of numbers of moths? 80 pheromone traps all season between them caught one co wild codling moth this season. This isn't the first use in New Zealand. It was used at the end of the painted apple moth program in Auckland. Once the population actually got to a very low level, painted apple moth was finally finished off with sterile insect technique. The real advantage of uh, SIT is that it has been shown to work with uh, fruit flies, where fruit fly incursions have occurred, and already Australia is actually investing in that uh, technology. So the SIT is a non-insecticidal method, potentially of reducing and controlling populations in urban areas. We've got to have a conversation as a region and as an industry where we're going with, in terms of our options for future control strategies uh, as we try and get more fruit into those high value. And we're talking supreme uh, premium market values uh, that are open for the New Zealand industry if we can truly get unrestricted access to some of those markets. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.